Hello, Alpha Alpha 2 Victor Golf here. Today I thought I would go through how I listen to my Bio Jumper, how I use the Crystal Spotter from the uh, Four State QRP Club to find my uh, receive frequency, and um, how one should understand that in a regenerative receiver, such as the BioJumper, there's an upper sideband and a lower sideband. And you should be able to use that to your advantage to get away from QRM. I use my KX3 to find my transmit frequency for a specific crystal. Um, an easier way to do that would just be to log on to the reversebeacon.net, reversebeacon.net, and see how they're reporting your signal. Um, so hopefully uh, this uh, will help some people who are just putting together their bio jumper and uh, would like to know uh, how best to use it. Thanks. So before we go on to looking at the bio jumper. I think it's important to understand how the radio allows us to hear frequencies of 7 megahertz. Now my background is not electronics, it's medical, and so uh, anything I say here uh, perhaps should not be taken as gospel, but uh, this is how I learned it, and I think uh, if you understand this, it makes operating the biojumper a little easier. So the principle is called heterodyning or heterodyne. That's when you combine two frequencies. And out of those two frequencies comes the sum and the difference of those frequencies. So, uh, for example, if you're trying to listen to a somebody sending CW at seven megahertz, which is basically 7,060,000 hertz. The dial, your VFO on your radio in the regenerative receiver is going to mix different frequencies. Now, if it mixes 7.060, the same frequency here, uh, that should say 7.060, left it out. But if it does, um, you're not going to hear anything because there's no difference between those two. But if it mixes 7.059200, the difference between that signal and the signal you list you want to hear is 800 hertz. Hey, I can hear 800 hertz even with my ears. Well, let's have the VFO jump up to 7.060800. Same thing. Uh, the difference between this frequency and um, the difference between this frequency and that frequency is 800 hertz. So I hear the signal again. So that's how we get to hear the signal. And you'll notice that you can hear it in two different spots. There are two spots on your VFO that you can hear the same signal. Um, there's an example I have of a piano. I mixed a C note and a G note. C is 262 hertz, and a G is 392. And um, take a look at the video. You'll see the resulting frequency when I hit them both at the same time, which is the difference between these two signals. So it's just an example of the same thing up here, except here we're working with 7 megahertz. Now, the sum of 7 megahertz plus 7 megahertz is 14 megahertz. I can't hear that anyway. So the only thing I'm going to hear is the 800 hertz. Okay. Um, let's move on. Okay, we're back, we're back to the drawing board. So I added some QRM here. So because the bio jumper doesn't have any filters and will listen to both upper and lower sideband, both sides, 
um, that creates a problem. And um, there is a way to, to get around that. So let's say you're listening to someone sending you CW at 7.06000 and your VFO is set to 7060800 um, and you're sitting there listening to a nice 800 hertz signal. Then uh, this guy over here decides to start sending CQ and he's at 7.061600. Now, the first question you're going to ask is, why is he saying CQ? He should hear me. Um, well, actually, he doesn't hear you because he's using a transceiver, and their transceiver only listens to one sideband, and uh, all of the uh, offset BFO is done for you. So uh, he doesn't hear you, and he starts sending. But wait a minute. If you... Uh, the difference between what your VFO, which is uh, the, the actual the beat frequency oscillator, is sending um, the difference between his signal and your signal is 800 hertz. Well, guess what? You hear him just as you hear this guy. You're hearing them both. That's a problem. What you can do is you can shift now down to the other side band and listen to him at 800 hertz and not have to hear 7.061600. So that is a way you can use the both side bands to get away from signals that are interfering with your listening. Okay, let's move on. Lower side one. No. Upper side one. Lower side band. Upper side band. Hey, this is a uh, the crystal spotter. That's uh, that was designed by the Four State QRP Club, and uh, it has a on-off switch on the bottom, so it's only on when you put the crystal on the two pads there. Um, it comes with an STL file that uh, you can bring to your library. My library has a 3D printer and uh, you can make this box. And um, this crystal spotter fits right in the box and it even has a sliding cover. This cover is sliding on and off so you can leave it open just like that to use it. So here I have my KX3 and it's going into, uh, right now it's uh, hooked up to a wire here. And uh, I wanna see what the frequency of my crystal. <clears throat> so I have a crystal, it's um, 7.110. And uh, let's see what it is actually uh, oscillating at when I put it in the uh, spotter. And it's oscillating at 7.109.94. That's pretty close. Okay, now let's see how my crystal oscillates in my bio jumper which is thus going to be my transmit frequency. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> and it's uh, lower at 7.109.1. So it's not exactly the same as putting the crystal in my crystal spotter, but that's not a problem at all. 
So now I have my Bayou jumper set up to my outside antenna. And uh, I have my KX3, which is uh, now going to transmit into the dummy load. So let's transmit from my KX3 and listen to what it sounds like. <clears throat> I'm going to transmit on the frequency that someone would be sending to me because this is my transmit frequency. So they would zero beat that and they would start sending to me. So <clears throat> let's uh, <clears throat> let's see. That's the upper band. Low. And this lower side band. And I can go back and forth. All right, so I know that my transmit frequency using this crystal is 7.109.10. 7 so I need to spot where I'm going to listen. So I'm going to use my, my spotter here, my crystal spotter, and I'm going to put this in like this. And I'm going to adjust my VFO. There's my lower sideband upper side band and I'm going to sit right in the null and then I'm going to put my crystal back okay and now let's see if somebody called me on this frequency that's probably about 750 800 Hertz all right so by finding the null with my crystal on the spotter um, I am uh, that's what it's gonna sound like. Now, right now I am on the upper sideband, so if there was interference, I could go to the null and back up the other side. But at least I know that the initial call will sound something like this. Thank you. Hi, okay, AA2VG back. So after all of that, um, Let's just have some fun and I'll show you how I set things up. Basically, um, I hook up uh, my antenna, my power cord. I usually use headphones, but I'm gonna use the speaker so you can hear. And uh, I choose my crystal. I have a couple of uh, crystals uh, here. So I choose my crystal and um, I let it warm up for about three to five minutes, uh, although you can start right out. Um, sometimes I'll use a key or a keyer, but I'll use the built-in key. And the first thing I do is go over, I take my crystal and uh, just put it in my spotter and find the null. There's the null. Okay, I'm ready to go. Put it back in, switch over to transmit. Go back to receive and now at this point what I'll also do is I had my regen set on about 2 p.m. and my attenuation at 5 p.m. while I'm listening to see if anybody comes back to me I just wiggle my regen it'll bring me up and down a little bit and just make sure that I don't miss anybody um, and uh, when I have somebody come back to me uh, I'm good to go I may tune the regen a little bit to get a to get a better sound and uh, I am on the upper sideband. If I ever wanted to switch to the lower sideband, I would just very gently turn myself down. And, uh, but that's it. Once you find the null, you're right where you want to be. Look for the null. Okay, have fun with your bio jumper. This is Alpha Alpha 2 Victor Goff. <laughs>